a little bit of an impromptu uh, lesson. I wasn't planning on doing this tonight, but a dear friend said she would like to incorporate more fish into her diet. And that almost sounded like a challenge to me to come up with a dish for her to be able to make easy and quick for her family. So what I've got here is I've got a pot of boiling water in the background. We're going to boil up some penne regatta. I have some beautiful tilapia fillets that I've cut in half. And I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to cut these into like one inch squares. Just like this, one inch squares. That will ensure that the tilapia, which has one side uh, larger than the other, will cook at an even rate. See? See the difference between this side of the filet and that side of the filet? It's almost double the size. So to negate that, I cut them into one inch squares. And then it gives you the opportunity to impart a little bit more flavor into every piece of the filet. This is three filets, or approximately one pound. And we're just going to cut it up like this into one inch squares and then we're going to season it all up now I've got a, a very nice, tilapia is a very beautiful fish because it has no uh, stern flavor, it's a very uh, neutral flavored fish it should have no smell whatsoever when you buy it if it does bring it back and get another one and I'm just going to season this up lightly. And I've got a beautiful non-stick pan here that's getting pretty hot. Then I'm going to add a little bit of, now I'm just going to add a little salt here. Nothing crazy. Just a little bit. And I'm going to hit it with a little black pepper. Because the flavor of this whole dish comes from the sauce. And a little garlic powder. Just like that. And we're just going to mix it around a little bit. So that all of those dry spices get a chance to adhere to the outside of the fish before we throw it in the frying pan. Just like that. Doesn't have to sit long. Because that's going to encrust on the outside of that fish. Okay. Our water is boiling for our pasta. I know it's a very small pot. Uh, I should be using my big pot. I like to use like a gallon of water for every pound of pasta. But that pot is occupied. <laughs> And as you know, I'm on a very strict budget here. I don't have a lot of pots. So this is going to have to do. And that's at a beautiful rolling boil. So I'm going to add in the penne of regatta. Just like that. And I'm going to hit it with some salt. I like to hit it with salt after the water boils. Don't ask me why, I just think that it works better. And we're just going to stir it around so it doesn't get clumped at the bottom. And we're going to let that go for about 10 minutes. I'm going to do the timer on it. Okay, timer's on. We pulled the pin. Our beautiful tilapia is here. Our pan is nice and hot. I'm going to put a little bit of, you can see it's smoking a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. Even though I don't need it for sticking purposes, I, I want it because of flavor purposes. And I'm going to take a, about two tablespoons of butter, and that's going to go in there. 
And we're going to let that melt down. And then in is going to go all of our beautiful tilapia. And we're going to leave it in there to brown on the one side. That's what I love about these beautiful, flexible cutting boards. Listen to that sound. You should smell the brown butter with the garlic that just hit it. And that olive oil. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I'm just trying to push all the fish around so it's all got its own nice little real estate inside of the pan. <laughs> now, we're going to watch this. I've already turned down the heat once. Because I don't want this to burn. I don't mind. I want brown butter. I do not want burnt butter. So, we're going to watch it real nice and close. It's beautiful brown. I can smell the nuttiness. It smells absolutely divine. As soon as I see it start to turn opaque on the top, let me get you in here so you can see what I'm talking about. As you can see, the fish is absolutely doing beautiful in there. But see how it's starting to turn opaque around the edges where the white, it's not pink anymore, it's white. That's what we're looking for, and that's the time to flip it to get it onto the other side. I'll show you in a minute when I flip. It doesn't take long. And then we're going to start to impart flavor into this fish. More than what we've got here already. It's a beautiful golden brown on the other side. Oh my goodness, wait till you see this. I got to carefully flip all these pieces because I don't want them to break up. I just want them nice and caramelized. That is beautiful. This is a dish everybody in the family is going to love. Even your pickiest little eaters. Because the fish don't taste like fish. It tastes more like, um, like scallops. Something very sweet. Scallops. Two minutes on each side. Look at this. Look at that beautiful caramelization going on. That's what we're looking for. We don't want to overcook this fish. And we're going to get it out of there in two shakes. But first, we're going to season it and start to make our sauce for our pasta. And how are we going to do that? See, now I can move it around a little bit. I've gotten both sides. And they both come nice and brown. I'm going to hit it with the juice of a lemon. Catching all the seeds, catching all the seeds. Ooh, there's a lot of seeds in this one. A quarter cup of white wine. That's deglazing our pan right now. I want to hit it with a little black pepper. I want to put in Oh, three, maybe four spoons of capers. Lovely, lovely, delicious capers. I'm going to let that boil off and hit with a little salt. We're going to let that reduce by about half. And then I'm going to add in some butter, and I'm going to see what it looks like. 
If it looks the way I want, I'm going to take out the fish, put it aside, put in the pasta, and let it cook in that same sauce. Let that sauce just permeate that pasta and infiltrate it. This is beautiful. We've got like three minutes left on our pasta before our pasta goes in here. So our timing should be just about right. Um, no sense in me waiting here. As soon as it's ready, as soon as the pasta's ready, we'll be right back. That's what you're looking for, that beautiful bubble, bubble, bubble. That's going to make a gorgeous sauce. Okay. Our pasta buzzer went off. I had already taken out the fish because I don't want the fish to become overdone. Our pasta is nice, tacky, and about has three minutes left to go on. See? When it's tacky and it sticks to your finger like that, that's how you know it's going to absorb more sauce. I put a little bit of the pasta water in with our sauce here. And in our pasta is going to go. Beautiful. I wish you could smell this. It smells absolutely divine. If you have parsley, you can put parsley in here. We're just letting that pasta cook down a little bit. With all that sauce, I'm going to add a little bit more butter to it. That will make it silky and smooth and absolutely delicious. <clears throat> and then I'm going to hit it with about a cup of green peas, which is going to add this bright, beautiful green color to this dish. And then back in goes our, our fish, our tilapia. We're going to let this cook maybe two, three, four minutes tops until the pasta becomes a little bit softer. And we'll be right back. Our pasta has cooked down like another two or three minutes. The sauce is glistening, coating every little bit of, bit of pasta. I'm going to throw in the peas and then I'm going to throw in back in the tilapia and our dish is done. There you have it. There's our uh, tilapia with uh, penne regatta and a white wine, garlic and, uh, and butter sauce. Capers, onions, shallots, and uh, it's really quick as you can see. We did that in, I'm going to say, under 15 minutes. So there it is. There's the dish. First thing you taste is the brightness from the lemon. Then the capers kick in. The silkiness of the butter. the sweetness of those peas and the tilapia at this point will just melt in your mouth mm. that's the way you want to see pasta coated just like that not dripping with sauce just coated so it's in every little nook and cranny that's the way it needs to be thanks for coming again uh, I hope you learned something. Like I said, this was very impromptu. I wasn't planning on doing this tonight, but you have it. So maybe you learned something. Come back again. Bye-bye. Oh my goodness. Delicious.